Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, I'm not going to say happy Monday because unless you're off, we're still happy about Monday. Mondays suck. Anyway, hope you had a great weekend. Man, what a closing regular season weekend for college basketball. Great games, uh, some upsets, crazy things happen. We're going to go over all of that. We also got a few news items. Before we start, hit that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything. With that, Let's get going here. We're going to go back to Friday because uh, we did a Friday show. So we're going to go over Friday, Saturday, and yesterday. Evidently, CFP is getting closer to a 14-team playoff in 2026. But the idea of the SEC and Big Ten champs getting guaranteed buys, that is losing a lot of steam with other conferences. Rightly so. Uh, following some public backlash, I... I didn't think people cared about what the public thinks all of a sudden, but all of a sudden they do. Now they're getting backlash from it. Um, how teams qualify for the CFP remains a sticking point in this. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm not sure when the next meeting is. They, heck, they may have one today. I'm not sure. But anyway, they're trying to get to that 14 team by 2026. We'll see what happens there. Mike Hopkins, he is out as basketball coach at uh, Washington. He is owed $3.1 million, so for the rest of his contract. He was 118 and 105 in seven seasons. UW has not been to the tournament since 2019. Uh, Loyola, Mar Loyola, Maryland's basketball coach, Tavares Hardy, he's going to step down after six seasons at the helm. Um, a lot of coaches now, they're either getting fired or stepping down over. So uh, we'll see what happens with them. I think they're going to get a new coach. Uh, Illinois, Chicago, they fired their head basketball coach, Luke uh, Yokelia. After four years, he went 47 and 70 <laughs> in that four years. And last bit of news, ex-Arizona State Notre Dame quarterback, Drew Pine. He's transferring to Missouri. So uh, see how he does there. All right, so let's go back to Friday. Uh, Boise State. Beat number 21, San Diego State, 79-77 in overtime. Uh, Boise step at Boise State at 22-9. Six players for Boise, double-digit points in that one. They shot 44% from the field, hit 11 three-pointers in that game. They did have less rebounds, less assists, less points in the paint. Uh, and they also had more fouls, but somehow they still won this game. Uh, Lee D for San Diego State, 21 points, six rebounds. They shot 45% from the field. Uh, Boise Martin, two free throws with uh, 1. Second, 1. 1.7 seconds left to seal the deal for Boise. Uh, so they come out there, beat number 21, San Diego State. Uh, number 25, Dayton, beat 19-12 VCU by five in overtime. VCU led by seven and a half. Dayton outscored them 21-16 to in that overtime period. Uh, high point. They moved to 25-7. and seven. They beat Radford by 14. This was actually a two-point game at halftime. High points, Thame and Miles. Each scored 20 points in that Missouri Valley Conference quarterfinal. Indiana State, 27-5. and five. They beat Missouri State, 75-59 in the uh, Missouri Valley Conference quarterfinals. Indiana State, 44% from the field. They hit 10 three-pointers in that game. Longwood, 19-12, beat Winthrop by 13. That was a one-point game at the half in the Big South quarters. Um, another Missouri Valley quarter game, 9-13 Northern Iowa, beat 20-13 Belmont by five. Uh, difference was by five points in the first half. Both scored 30 in the second half. So that extra five points kind of helped them. Uh, Big South quarterfinals, 21-11 UNC Asheville beat Charleston Southern by five. 12-19 Western Michigan beat 21-10 Akron by six. Western Michigan's white, 23 points. They had 14 points off of turnovers and 11 less fouls than Akron did. Uh, another Missouri Valley Conference quarterfinal game, Drake. They moved to 26-6. They beat Evansville 79-58. Ohio, they moved to 19 and 12. They beat Miami of Ohio, 72-59. Bowling Green moved to 19 and 12. They beat Ball State by 10. Central Michigan, they moved to 18 and 13. They beat Eastern Michigan by three in overtime. 21 and 11, Little Rock beat 21 and 12. Western Illinois 
82, um, 82, where's the score? I just lost it. 82-57 in the Ohio Valley Conference semifinals. 17-15, Gardner-Webb beat Presbyterian by one in the Big South quarterfinals. 20-11, Toledo beat Kent State, 86-71. 8-14, San Diego beat Pepperdine by five in the West Coast second round game. 22-10, Bradley beat UIC, 74-47 in Missouri Valley Conference quarters. 25 and 8, Moorhead State beat 21 and 11, UT Martin, 84 78 in Ohio Valley Conference semis. 12 and 20, Portland beat Loyola Marymount by 8 in the West Coast second round. 12 and 18, Oral Roberts beat South Dakota, 77 62 in the Summit League's first round game. 17 and 15, East Tennessee State beat VMI, 98 66 in the SOCON. Uh, first round. 16 16, Mercer beat the Citadel, 84 76. SoCon first round. 9 and 23 Hampton beat Alien by one <laughs> in um, CAA first round game. 10, 10 and 22 William and Mary beat NC or North Carolina A&T 79 62 in a CAA first round. Upsets in baseball on Friday. Number 12 Duke beat number one Wake Force 8 to 5. Duke had 14 hits in that game. Wake Forest only had nine. Number four, Florida barely beat St. Mary's 12 to 11 in 10 innings. Each team had 14 hits in that game. Kansas beat number five, TCU, three to one. Kansas had eight hits in that one. TCU had four. Miami beat number 13, Virginia, six to five. Virginia had six more hits in this game than Miami. Still lost. Number 24, Texas beat number 17, Texas Tech, 22 to eight. UT, 20 hits in this game. They have three errors, but hell, 20 hits. And Fresno State, Fresno State, Fresno State beat number 23, UC Irvine, 13 to 1. Uh, softball upsets. Houston beat number one, Texas, 12 to 10. UH is Rollin. Hit a, she hit a three run and two run home runs in that game. Number three, LSU beat number 21, Kentucky, 6 to 2. Number 12, Missouri beat number 25, Auburn, 5 to 2. Missouri's Daily, two run home run. Crenshaw, she hit a three-run home run in that game. Florida Gulf Coast beat number 16, Florida State, 3-1. Oregon beat number 17, Cal, 4-3 in nine innings. Number 19, Texas A&M beat number 22, South Carolina, 3-0. South Alabama beat number 20, Arkansas, 2-1. Oregon State beat number 24, Arizona, 3-2 in eight innings. Moving to Saturday. Uh, watch this game. Incredible game. Number one, Houston just took Kansas behind the woodshed, beat them by 30. No player on either team, <laughs> this is crazy, had over 13 points. But, uh, man, Houston, they just kind of dominated the whole game. Uh, number two, UConn beat number or beat 19-12 Providence, 74-60. to UConn was down 15-2 to at one point in the first half. Uh, number 15, Kentucky beat number four, Tennessee, 85-81. Kentucky's Reeves, 27.7 rebounds. Shepard, 27.6 rebounds off the bench. Kentucky shot 46% from the field, and they hit 15 three-pointers in that one. Tennessee was led by Neck, 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 40 points, four rebounds, hit six three-pointers. Hell of a game for him. Uh, but the rest of the team, 38% from the field. They did hit 12 three-pointers, so it went all too bad. Um Seven turnovers. They committed seven turnovers. That led to 10 Kentucky points. 14-17, uh, USC beat number five, Arizona, 78-65. USC's Rodman, 19.7 rebounds, followed by Johnson, who had 19 points. Uh, Balo for Arizona, 17 points, 10 rebounds, followed by Johnson, who had 10 points. He had four three-pointers also. Um, USC, 49% from the field. Arizona, only 39% from the field. Arizona, um, they have more rebounds, more assists, but they have more turnovers, which led to 17 USC points in that one. 18-13, Kansas State beat number six, Iowa State, 65-58. Kansas State's uh, Kaluma, 23.7 rebounds, followed by Carter, 21 points, five rebounds. Kansas, uh, Iowa State's Jones came off the bench, leading score, 16 points. Uh, Lipsy and Gilbert behind him had 13 points. Kansas State, 41% from the field. Iowa State was 43%. Kansas State went 14 for 21 from the free throw line. 
Iowa State went 9 for 15 from the free throw line. Uh, Kansas State, 36 rebounds. Iowa State only 27. Kansas State, 15 assists. Iowa State only 7. KSU, 20 points off of turnovers. Iowa State did get 11 points off of turnovers. Uh, Kansas State had less fouls in this game, but Iowa State did have more points in the paint. Number 17, North Carolina beat their rival, number 9, Duke, 84-79. Uh, North Carolina's Ryan, 31 points. He hit six three-pointers in this game. Filipowski for Duke, 23 points, seven rebounds. North Carolina, 50% from the field. Duke was 43%. North Carolina, 15 for 18 from the free throw line. Duke was 18 for 24 on free throws. Uh, North Carolina had 39 rebounds. Duke only grabbed 28. North Carolina, 36 points in the paint, where Duke only had 30. Uh, Duke coach John Shire actually apologized to the crowd afterwards and says, we will do better. Just be patient with us. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I've ever heard that before, but no. Hey, whatever works, whatever works for you. Uh, number eight, Marquette beat Xavier by six. Marquette's Jones, 30 points, five rebounds, nine assists. Number 10, Creighton beat Villanova by two. Creighton's Trey Alexander hits a jumper with 0.2 seconds left to seal that win. Texas Tech beat number 11, Baylor, by 10. Texas Tech shot 49% from the field. Baylor only shot 44. Number 13, Auburn beat Georgia 92-78. Jones, 21 points in that game. He hit a, or Auburn hit 11 total three-pointers. Number 16, Alabama defeated Arkansas 92-88 in overtime. Arkansas, boy, these last few games, they're just fighting their heart out for a win. Coming close. Not doing it, but they are coming real close. Uh, if you're if you're a Razorbacks fan, you just got to wonder where that fight was the whole year. Uh, number 17, South Carolina beat 19-12 Mississippi State, 93-89 in overtime. One-point game at halftime. Number 20, BYU beat Oklahoma State, 85-71. BYU hit 12 three-pointers in that game. Number 22, Utah State beat 22-9 New Mexico, 87-85. Uh, Utah State's Martinez, 22 points. Followed by Osibor, 21 points, 12 rebounds. Followed by Brown the second, 19 points, 6 rebounds, 9 assists. Uh, Amzil for New Mexico, 18 points, 5 rebounds. They shot 52% from the field, and they had five players with double-digit points. Utah State scored 18 points off of turnovers in that one. 16-14, uh, Tulsa beat number 24, South Florida, 76-70. South Florida led this game by 6 at halftime. Haggerty for Tulsa, 32 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, followed by Williams, 23 points, 11 rebounds. Pryor for uh, South Florida, led the way, 29 points, 11 rebounds. USF, 37% from the field. Tulsa shot 43%. Uh, the teams are pretty much even in all the other categories, uh, assists, rebounds, points in the paint, all that. Uh, Tulsa just came out on top. Uh, CAA second round, Monmouth beat Campbell, 90-67. Northeast Conference semis, Merrimack beat uh, LeMoyne by 10. SoCon quarters, uh, Samford beat Mercer 70-57. Big South semis, Long will beat High Point by one point in overtime. 24-7, FAU beat 22-9, Memphis 92-84. Uh, that was a pretty good game. I watched that one. Golden for uh, Florida Atlantic, 21 points, 12 rebounds. Greenlee. 21 points, 5 rebounds, hit 5 three-pointers in that game. Tomlin from Memphis led the way, 27 points, 7 rebounds. He hit 5 three-pointers. Jones and Quinney, 16 points each. Uh, the Owls were 49% from the field. Tigers were 47%. Owls only hit 11 three-pointers. Memphis, though, they hit 16 three-pointers in this game. Uh, FAU, 7 more rebounds, 6 more assists, 16 points off of turnovers, 22 more points in the paint. Seven less fouls than uh, Memphis. Looks like that could have been the difference. Uh, St. John's 19-12. They beat Georgetown 86-78. Jenkins for St. John's, 23 points. 12-17 and 17, Brown beat 29 Yale by three in overtime. Brown's Lily Jr., 26 points. They shot 47% from the field and hit 10 three-pointers. Uh, Sun Belt quarters. Appalachian State beat Georgia Southern by five in overtime. 12 and 19, St. Louis beat 18 and 12, St. Bonaventure by eight. Uh, St. Joseph's, 19 and 12, they beat Davidson 89 71. 8 13, Liberty beat 19 and 11, Western Kentucky by three. Northeast Conference Semis, 15 and 15, Wagner 
beats 20 and 11 Central Connecticut by 10 points. Wagner had more rebounds in this game, and they also could grab nine points off of turnovers. So probably the difference, but man, hell of a win for them. 15 and 15, and they beat uh, Central Connecticut. American East Quarters, Bryant beat Maine, 84-58. Big South Semis, UNC Asheville beat Gardner Webb by 11 in overtime. Texas beat OU by 14. Both of them are 20 and 11. Hunter for Texas, 30 points. Texas shot 64% from the field. Uh, Cincinnati, they moved to 18 and 13. They beat West Virginia 92-56. Another game I saw was pretty good. 8 and 13, Texas A&M beat 20 and 11. Ole Miss by 26. Uh, Aggies dominate from the start. They start off something crazy like 14 to nothing in the first half. Um, Ole Miss, man, I don't know what's happened to them. Remember they first of the year they were on fire, hot, hot team. They've kind of cooled off over the last couple months. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how far they go in the tournament with the way they've been playing lately the last couple months. But uh, to take a beat down like that at home and on senior day, that's just, that's just crazy. Uh, 2011 Duquesne beat George Washington by two. 23 and 8 Quinnipiac beat St. Peter's 89 74. Marist, they're 17 and 12. They beat Niagara by one. Cornell, 22 and 6, beat Columbia 98 76. CAA, second round. Towson uh, beat William and Mary 67 56. SoCon quarters. East Tennessee State beat UNC Greensboro by 11. Vatet, 18 and 13. They beat Notre Dame 82 76. 2011 George Mason beat 23 and 8 Richmond 64 46. America East Quarters Vermont beat Albany by three. America East Quarters uh, New Hampshire beat Big Hampton 77 64. America East Quarters UMass Lau beat UMBC 94 89 in overtime. Sun Belt Quarters Arkansas State beat Louisiana 89 62. Louisiana had a good run back earlier in the season. Uh, looked like a really good team and they just come. Leveled off a little bit. Uh, Missouri Valley Conference semifinals. Indiana State beat Northern Iowa 94-72. Uh, Charlotte, 1911. They beat East Carolina by 10. <laughs> this one, this one, I, I didn't see this game. I don't know if, if Florida wasn't playing starters or what, but 9-22 Vanderbilt beat 21 and 10 Florida by one. Florida did shoot 52% from the field. Vandy only shot 36% from the field, but uh Vandy. Somehow pulled it off and won. 16-14 uh, Central Florida beat 2011 TCU by two. That game was tied at 36 at halftime. Johnson for Central Florida, 33 points, nine rebounds. He hit five three-pointers in that game. 10-21 Alabama A&M beat 8-13 Southern by 10. Uh, CAA second round, Stony Brook beat Northeastern by 10. Missouri Valley Conference semis, Drake beat Bradley by five. Sun Belt quarters. 17 and 7. Here's another one. 17 and 7. Texas State beat 20 and 12. Troy. 74-68. Uh, SoCon quarters. Chattanooga beat Wofford. 75-57. 19 and 12. Wake Forest beat 21, 10 and 10. Clemson 81-76. Wake Forest 58% from the field. Clemson only 46. Princeton. They moved to 24 and 3. They beat Penn 105-83. 19-12, UC Davis beat 18-14, Long Beach State by 10. Uh, milling for UC Davis, 24 points in that game. Uh, Summit quarters, South Dakota State beat Oral Roberts, 79-63. 20-11, Oregon beat 8-13, Utah by 1. UC San Diego, they moved to 21-10, beat Cal Poly, 92-87. Big Sky, first round, Sacramento State beat Idaho, 72-64. Pitt moved to 21 and 10. They beat 17 and 14 NC State 81 73. 26 and 8 Moorhead State are Ohio Valley champions. Beat 21 and 12 Little Rock 69 55. Virginia 22 and 9. They beat Georgia Tech 72 57. Grand Canyon they are 27 and 4. They beat Cal Baptist 68 47. Sunbelt quarters James Madison beat Marshall 81 64. SoCon quarters, 17 to 15. Furman beat 22 and 10. Western Carolina by three in overtime. Furman, uh, Peaks, I think it's his name, Pegs, Peaks, uh, 28 points, hit six three pointers in that game. Seton Hall, 20 and 11. They beat DePaul, 82 62. LSU beat Missouri, 84 to 80. Missouri winless in the SEC 0 and 18. Man. 
I don't know what's happened to that basketball program. Uh, CAA second round, Delaware beat Hampton by 30. UC Irvine moved to 24 and 8. They beat Cal State Fullerton by 10. 21 and 10 Northwestern beat 18 and 13 Minnesota, 90 to 66. Uh, Banheiser and Bowie for Northwestern, 23 points each. Summit quarters, Denver beat Kansas City by one. West Coast quarters, Santa Clara beat San Diego, excuse me, 104.79. Big Sky first round, Idaho State beat Northern Arizona by eight. 26 and six Nevada beat 19 and 11 UNLV by 10. Lucas for Nevada, 26 points. Hawaii, they moved to 19 and 13, beat Cal State Bakersfield, 74-57. West Coast quarters, San Francisco beat Portland, 72-51. Moving on to baseball upsets on Saturday, number one Wake Forest beat number 12 Duke, 6-3. St. Mary's beat number four Florida, 9-7. After what happened Friday, kind of expected St. Mary's to win one. Uh, St. Mary's Duroff, he had a solo and two-run home run in that game. Kansas beat number five TCU, 8-4. Ashby for Kansas, two-run home run. Brooks and Reeder, they hit solo home runs. Miami beat number 13, Virginia, 16-12. to uh, Cry, I think that's how his name is. Cry for Miami. RBI single and Grand Slam. Nice. Uh, number 17, Texas Tech beat number 24, Texas, 7-2. Austin P beat number 19, Auburn, 15-6. San Diego beat number 20, Dallas Baptist, 8-4. Uh, softball, number three, LSU beat number 21, Kentucky, 4-3. to three. Lynch for LSU had eight strikeouts in that game. Number 14, Baylor beat number seven, Oklahoma State, 2 to nothing. Number 13, Florida beat number 10, Alabama, 2 to nothing. Number 12, Missouri beat number 25, Auburn, 5 to nothing. Oregon beat number 17, Cal, 5-2. to two. Number 19, Texas A&M beat number 22, South Carolina, 2-1 to one in 10 innings. Moving to yesterday. Number three, Purdue beat number nine or beat 19 and 12 Wisconsin by eight. Zach Eady does again 25 points, 14 rebounds, 11 for 14 from the free throw line. And they surprised him after the game and retired his jersey there. So congratulations to Zach Eady. Uh, CAA quarters 25 and 7 Charleston beat Monmouth 83 59. Big South Championship. Longwood. Uh, Big South champions, they beat UNC Asheville, 85-59. Longwood, 60% from the field. Um, UNC Asheville, only 38%. That's a really bad performance in the championship game. Hmm. Nebraska, 22-9. They beat Michigan, 85-70. Uh, Tominga, is that how you say it? Tominga, Tominga, Nebraska, 30 points. Not bad. Uh, Patriot Semis, 24-9. Colgate beat Bucknell by three. Missouri Valley Conference Championship, 28-6 Drake, beat 29-6 Indiana State, 84-80 for the championship. Uh, Drake hit 11 three-pointers in that game. But Indiana State had a hell of a year. Remember, they're ranked for the first time for a week since, like, 1976. So they still got a lot to play for. They're, they're a hell of a team. Uh, A-Sun Championship, 22-12 Stetson beat Austin P by three to win that championship. Ohio State moved to 19 and 12, beat Rutgers 73-51. I I'm not an expert how they pick stuff, but Ohio State's gonna have to have a hell of a Big Ten conference, I think, to make that tournament. But who knows? They might make it anyway with a poor record because somebody owes somebody something. Who knows? Uh CAA quarters, 20 and 13 Towson beat 21 and 10 UNC Wilmington by 10. UAB beat SMU 74 to 70. Both of them are 20 and 11. Patriot Semis, Lehigh beat Boston 84 79 in overtime. Uh, SoCon Semis, 28 and 5. Sanford beat Furman 84 77. 8 and 13. Indiana beat 8 and 13. Michigan State by one point. Where for Indiana, 28 points, 12 rebounds. Interesting to see if Indiana or Michigan State make the tournament. They're going to have to have a hell of a Big Ten tournament, I think, to make it. Southland first round, New Orleans beat Southeast Louisiana, 78-66. Sunbelt Semis, 8-15 Arkansas State. 8-15 Arkansas State beats 27-6 Appalachian State by two. Um, they were pretty even in all the categories when I was looking at them. Ar uh, Arkansas State, better free throw shooting in that game, though, so could have been the difference. Number 12, Illinois beat 18-13 Iowa, 73-61. Shannon Jr. for Illinois, 25 points. Uh, Illinois, more rebounds and more points in the paint. Iowa was kind of on a crazy tear there these last couple of weeks. Just 
beating teams you wouldn't think they would beat. So I'm really, really interested to see how they're going to do in this in the Big Ten, in the Big Ten tourney. I mean, are they going to turn things around and mow through it? Because they kind of mowed through the last part of the season. They beat they beat some good teams. Uh, CAA quarters. Stony Brook beat Drexel 91-88 in two overtimes. Uh, Stony Brook's Clark 27 points in that game. SoCon semis. Eastern Tennessee State beat Chattanooga by one in overtime. Summit quarters. St. Thomas, Minnesota beat North Dakota State by 10. Big Sky, second round, 10 and 23, Sacramento State beat 21 and 11, Eastern Washington, 74 69. Sacramento State, 23 points off of turnovers. Uh, Eastern Washington, they did get 20 points off of turnovers, but I think the 23 points they gave up went against them. Uh, Southland, first round, Texas AM Commerce beat Northwestern State by five. Sunbelt Semis, James Madison beat Texas State 73 68. Um, Texas State was better from the field, but James or yeah, James Madison was better at a three point shooting in that game. CAA quarters, Hofstra beat Delaware 73 58. Hofstra's Dubar, 22 points in that game. Summit quarters, Ohama, uh, Ohama. <laughs> <laughs> Omaha beat North Dakota by one. Uh, North Dakota actually led by four at halftime, but didn't pull it out. Big Sky, second round, 14-19. Idaho State beat 19-13. Northern Colorado, 83-76. Idaho State, 23 points off of turnovers. Five players have double-digit points for the Bengals in that one. Moving on, the baseball upsets yesterday. Number 12, Duke beat number one, Wake Force, 10 to 8. Duke won two out of three in that series. Xavier beat number three, LSU, 2 to 1. LSU still won the series, two out of three. Number 24, Texas beat number 17, Texas Tech, 9 to 7. UT won two out of three in that series. Softball upsets. Number three, LSU beat number 21, Kentucky, 8 to 3. LSU won all three of those games in that series. Uh, number seven, Oklahoma State beat number 14, Baylor, 3 to 2. Oklahoma State. Won two out of three. Number 13, Florida beat number 10, Alabama, 11 to 2. Um, Florida won two of those games. I was looking for a third game because when they play a third game, I was looking for it. I was like, where the hell is it? Uh, number 25, Auburn beat number 12, Missouri, 4 to nothing, but Missouri still wins the series, two out of three. Number 19, Texas AM beat number 22, South Carolina, 2 to 1. AM won all three games in that series. So tonight, semifinals, championship games are going on tonight. Uh, conference tournaments start this week. Selection Sunday, next Sunday. Uh, as we see every week, there are teams that are counting on conference, good conference tournament play to get into the tournament. Some of them are doing it in the conferences and the tournaments that have already started. Some of them aren't. So uh, very interesting, very interesting these last couple weeks before Selection Sunday. Anyway, don't have a good day. Stay busy. Monday will be over soon. Don't worry. We'll be back uh, Thursday or Friday to go over what's hap what happens tonight through Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, anyway, stay safe. We'll see you next time.